Hey bodies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today I'm bringing the top 50 most played games according to those who log plays, including myself, on the website Board Game Geek. Now, I did mention there are occasionally competitions and one has just ended, so I'll be giving you the announcement to who has won later on today, and that'll be in this video. If you are the winner, please let me know in the comments and I'll be in touch. I will let you know though that the publisher uh, had certain requirements they made after agreeing to fulfill and send out the game and they have uh, said well we wanted uh, more x y and z and they're saying they're no longer sending it so um, that is very very unprofessional and hopefully with you guys support they will still actually honor that because yeah, i'm definitely not looking to to work with that place again but right up we have number 50 if the second most plays per player it's the crew mission deep sea one of my favourite games of all time by Thomas Singh, the follow-up to the original The Crew, and it's the second most plays per player. Next up we've got Calico. Now this has jumped up a bit, and um, I think it's the fifth highest new entry. I don't know if it's just of stabilising or not, um, but it is averaging um, 1.7 plays per player. It has jumped up two positions. In at 48, now unfortunately I have tried to sort out this flashing effect, but it is still going on, and um, it's just going on a few of these uh, thumbnail pictures, but apologies for that. It's jumped one position, 160 players, it is on Board Game Arena, like the crew, so that might explain why it's doing so well. The Obsession, or sorry, Obsession, I look forward to playing this on Thursday, that's in one week's time from time recording. And there's a new uh, release of it just come out, so that is why it's the fourth highest new entry. A new uh, print of it has just hit the shops and been played in the month of October. Next up, Horrified. So this is by Ravensburger, third highest new entry. It's a game that I've kind of got on a, a kind of order, uh, but I have got a lot of things in the pipeline. Still daily videos for the past three or so years, I think five years now. 154 new, um, uh, well, new, uh, sorry, change in rank since last month as well. Next up we've got Parks, also on Board Game Arena. You can check out my video on how to set up play and review and the solo playthrough and stuff. Second least plays per player though dropping three positions. Next up we have got a Gloomhaven Jaws Alliance, still stuck on the sixth mission in the sense that we just haven't had time to get around to playing this one yet. It's the second biggest faller dropping ten positions. Then Arkham Horror, not a big fan of this one. It is obviously very Cthulhu-like though. No change at all at 43. If you want to see other co-op games, you can find that on the channel too. Dropping one position, this board game arena game as well, is uh, in at 42 from Bristol. Next up, we do have the other crew. It's the third most plays per player. Again, it's on board game arena, averaging 101 minutes, 0.1 per player. Fancy Realms, well, I do have my copy now. I've got the deluxe edition with sleeves and promos. And check out Marvel Remix, which is the re-implementation of this. You can find out videos for that too on the channel and in my Marvel playlist. Next up, Gans Shown Clever. Don't play this, play Knock Mal or Encore if you have the Stronghold Games Edition. It's my favourite roll and write game, one of my top three games of all time, and all my top three games all have an exclamation mark at the end. This is in at 39. Next up, we have got Terry from Mars Ares Expedition. Now, this has dropped three positions, and just coming back to Gans Shown Clever, if you want to see my video, which I think is better, for the third one, Clever Cubed, I think it's a much better game, also check that on the channel. Just type in Amass Games and then Clever Cubed. So this is also on the channel. You can see my play solo playthrough, my a very interesting solo playthrough. Um, yep, yeah, I've also got a how to set up play and review multiplayer as well. This again is Terraforming Mars and at 38. Then we have Seven Wonders Architects. Nearly played this yesterday. In the end, I play the regular one again, the second edition. So this is dropping seven positions on Borg Game Arena. And then King of Tokyo, also on Borg Game Arena by Yellow. It's dropped four positions. Then Gloomhaven. Now, this is the most time spent playing. It's dropped four positions and still number one of all time on Board Game Geek presently. Now, Twilight Inscription, a very interesting position to have next to it. It's an epic roll and write experience, which I've yet to play. I could have played it actually over at S, I believe, and it's the second highest new entry. Next up, we have Root, and this isn't on Board Game Arena. You can get the app, you can watch my video, including the fantastic expansion on the channel too. Again, just search the word Amass Games and Root in Google, whatever you use, and you'll find it. Third most, or third biggest fallen players, biggest faller as well in terms of rank. Then Scythe is dropping seven positions as a digital version out. And there are other Stone My games you can check on the channel, such as Pendulum. So check out that too, as well as my solo playthrough. And I had a set up a review for the multiplayer game for a My Little Scythe which I prefer. Next up we have Brass Birmingham, third biggest faller, it's the least place per play at 31. And then Viticulture in at 30, of course another Stone My game there. 
Now, Seven Wonders, I have the second edition now. I've just sleeved it with Mayday sleeves. It is in at 29, dropping two positions. Then we have Cartographers, no change at 28. There are digital apps and stuff for it. I do have videos for that too. You can find that on the channel, again, along with Seven Wonders. And then Art by the Miko. Yeah, he made tons of games ever since uh, North Sea, that is Explorers of the North Sea in 2014, I believe. This game is also up by Pixel Spieler, I believe, and you can find that over in Essen. I didn't get a chance to get a copy as it did sell out. Looks very interesting, it's the highest new entry. And then Point Salad at 26 just came out on Board Game Arena yesterday. This is in at 26. It's dropped six positions though. I think it's going to jump up next month. So that's the top of that list. The person who's won, they are in the USA. So I'll give you more details on who that is a bit later on. But let's crack on with the rest of this list. If you are enjoying it, please let me know in the comments. That's always best on YouTube. Also via the description, again, there are occasionally competitions. There is Linktree. Keep checking back there. And via Instagram, there is actually that and Facebook and TikTok now. So please head over there, 2,600 posts over on Instagram presently. So dropping at six positions, or six ranks positions, is 25 space base. Also on Borgham Arena, John Declare, and that is AEG. And then 24, looking forward to playing this, also on Borgham Arena now. It's a wonderful world of 24, up two positions. Sagrada, I do have a copy with the 5 to 6 play expansion, dropping five positions. And actually, uh, Adrian Adamescu contacted me quite recently, so that's quite cool. So dropping three, uh, sorry, five positions, and then 22, we have the Castles of Burgundy. I did meet Stefan Feld last month, absolutely brilliant. Same height as me, very tall, and very muscular as well, at least on the back. So yeah, 22. Next up, we have got, so that's on Borgham Marina. Welcome to, is on Borgham Marina, and uh, the Vegas one is fine. I actually like uh, Welcome to the Moon the best. Up two positions, I'm glad I stuck with trying out Welcome to the Moon. Down at three positions, I did meet Bruno Cathala in 2018 at the Spielders Fair. Third least time spent playing. Now Scout, I do have a copy of Scout. Third most highest riser, least time spent playing. Then we have Just One. It has dropped two positions, also on Borg Arena now. Second least time spent playing, so I think that's going to jump as well. And then Patchwork, also on Borg Arena. I did love stacking stuff a lot over in Germany. It has dropped three positions. Next up, Carcassonne, also on Borg Arena, dropping three positions of 16. Marvel Champions, most plays per player, second most time spent playing. There's loads of new versions always coming out. No change in rank whatsoever. Ticket to Ride, second biggest gain in players, second highest riser. That is, again, I think massively due to Board Game Arena and it coming out last month. I think it's going to rise even more. Again, 661 new players. Then up, we've got Spirit Island, dropping one position, third most time spent playing, greater than gains. And then 12, again, I've been to Quack Quidlinburg, now got my folder space insert. Third least plays per player, uh, it's dropping three positions. Then we've got Seven Wonders Jewel, dropping one position, also on Board Game Arena, as is Splendor, dropping two positions. And then at nine, we now have the biggest gain in players. I've got a video for this as well on the channel. Again, search Mass Games. Flamecraft is the highest riser. And they have Dune Imperium. So Dune Imperium has dropped one position. And then at number seven, uh, Lost Rooms of Arnak. Again, I've got my copy still to give you information for as well. But I do have Starship Captain, so check out my CG playlist for that too. It's dropping into one position there. Then we do have Everdell, up five positions. Again, I think it's because of that complete edition. Then Terrifying Mars, no change at five. Then we've got um, Azul, dropping one position, also on Board Game Arena. Cascadia, up one position. Th um, third biggest gain in players, interestingly. And there's a fair bit of a gap, actually, between these player counts. So we've got 2,985 logs for Azul, 3,269 for Cascadia. Then we have Arc Nova, 3,807, biggest fall in players. And at number one, we do have Wingspan. No change again for those last two. 4,475 unique players, averaging 2.4 plays per month. Highest rank has been this position. Number of months being 45 in this top 50. Came out 2019 with a playtime of 166 minutes, 0.5. So, who has won? Well, hopefully I'm going to pronounce this right. It's Brenda Valine or Brenda Valine, if that's correct. So again, comment in that, in that YouTube and I'll be sure to be in contact to see if we can get a copy to you. So that's relating to that prior competition. So you should know about that one. Again, keep checking Inktree if you want to see out for more competitions. But for now, back to the table.